Sara, a cook whose heritage, her heart, is firmly out of Italy, and her food right from the start was delicious. Squeeze it. It's That's great. It. It's lovely. Thank you. It was an emotional journey for Sara Danison Medio, who'd entered the MasterChef auditions, believing she didn't stand a chance. But when she was chosen to take part in the popular TV show above 20,000 other applicants, it was the start of a life-changing experience. My dream is to open a restaurant in my own home. Time is passing fast. So if I have to do something, I need to do it now. And a year on, she's fulfilled that dream. Sarah has started her own dining club at her home a stone's throw from York Minster. With the help of her husband David, who acts as front of house manager, together they give a dozen guests a fine dining experience. It's absolutely great. We've met some amazing people and we like meeting new people. So a very, very proud husband indeed. Sarah's no stranger to the catering business. Her father ran a restaurant and she's always loved food. As an Italian girl, if food is always a, a, an important part of the everyday life, it's, it's the you are what you eat kind of story. So we always toyed with the idea of opening something, but the platform wasn't there. So MasterChef was, you know, exactly what we were looking for. And as the guests arrive, Sarah's kitchen comes alive. Known for her precision and beautiful presentation style, she doesn't let her guests down. It's an exhausting evening for Sarah. She works flat out in her kitchen. The house has been modified to accommodate the dining club and her hard work is paying off. It's been an enormous hit. After MasterChef, we've had something like 900 requests all at once. It's delicious. I've never tasted flavours like it. It's absolutely fantastic. Another successful night for the former intensive care nurse who seems to thrive of high pressure. To shift that attention from curing people and make them happy to feeding people and make them happy. It's just a different slant on a happy story really. Michelle Lyons, BBC Look North, York.